what's going on everyone welcome back to your nation reactions i am tyrone today on the channel we have halloween ends pitch meeting um spoiler alert people okay um the, spoiler alert in three wait sp three two one you've been warned michael myers only kills two people in this whole film roll the clip <laughs> That's it, people. <laughs> that is it. I hope that uh, Ryan talks about this because I, in the review on Mostly Wrong Opinions, that's where that clip came from. Thank you, Devin. Uh, I, I, we talked about like it was it was Stab Man and Robin over here, <laughs> and you you will see Ryan talk about this, okay? Because <laughs> that that was just insane of how this film ended. And I didn't think this film series ended properly, in my opinion, but whatever. But let's go ahead and get into it. So, you have a Halloween reboot slash sequel, sequel, sequel for me? Oh, <laughs> God, I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is anymore, but you got that new Halloween movie for me? Oh, yeah, yes, sir, I do. Amazing. So this one's gonna take place four years after the events of the last movie, right? Oh, yeah, and what's going on with Laurie Strode? Hey, uh, you know, she's just kind of doing her best to live a normal suburban life, you know, just taking it easy. Really? Yeah, that is, that's what I wrote here. Why, what's up? It's just like two movies ago, we said she had spent like 40 years training and being paranoid just in case Michael Myers ever escaped from the asylum he was in. Right. And now Michael Myers has killed her daughter and is on the loose and she's just chilling. <laughs> yeah, no, she's chilling. Oh, okay, cool. So anyway, we're gonna meet this weird 24-year-old dude named Corey, right? Hey, what's his deal? Well, his deal is that the movie's about him now. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Michael Myers and Laurie Strode? Ah, not so much, no. Isn't that what people would want to see, though? Who's to say? I mean, probably, probably everybody. Okay, well, look, we could focus the marketing on Laurie Strode versus Michael Myers, but I think in terms of the actual movie, we're gonna really want to focus on this Corey guy. If you you say so. So what's going on with, uh, Corey, was it? Corey, yeah. And so three years ago, he accidentally killed the kid he was babysitting, and the whole town hates him now. Like, he gets bullied by some high school kids. Uh, like big football jocks. <laughs> oh, worse. Yeah. Marching band. Bam. What? Yeah, these little marching band kids are real mean to Corey, and one day while they're bullying him, he hurts his hand. Uh-oh. And so Lori brings him to this doctor office where her daughter Allison is now a nurse, and she's like, hey, maybe, maybe you date my daughter now. What? And Allison sees this dude, and she's like, oh, Oh, I am very much into this weird guy who killed a child and gets bullied by teenage marching band geeks. Well, yeah. you know, that is pretty hot. Yeah, it is. So they're deeply in love now. Yeah, no, I get it. But then Corey's gonna get bullied by the marching band again. God, these tiny musicians will not leave this guy alone. <laughs> I tiny know, musicians. and this time they push him off a little bridge, and while he's unconscious, he gets dragged into a sewer by Michael Myers. He's the guy this is supposed to be about. He is, <laughs> except it's very much about Corey. So what's going on with Michael Myers. I mean, at the end of the last movie, we said he was like the embodiment of evil and he took out a whole entire armed mob by himself. Oh yeah, well I forgot about all that. Mm -hmm. So now he's very weak and he's been living in a sewer for four years. Oh yeah, so you know, hopefully people won't really remember how the last movie ended. This is no. a direct sequel to it. It is, yeah. And so he killed a bunch of people and then suddenly became kind of a geriatric Pennywise the Clown, just an arthritic <laughs> old man occasionally killing people in a sewer. I guess yeah. that's a scary horror movie bad guy. It might be. So anyway, he grabs Corey and he doesn't actually kill him, but they lock eyes. Are they gonna kiss? They're not no, gonna kiss. Gonna no, download. but it seems like Michael maybe sees the same darkness inside Corey that he has inside himself. There's something going on with the eyes. Is it supernatural? <laughs> Who knows? You? Nope. And so then Corey leaves the sewer you? and immediately no. kills a homeless guy. Oh my God. And then he goes to see Allison and he's like, I just killed a guy. Like, I just murdered a dude. Yeesh. How does he react? Yeah, she doesn't really, so they keep on dating. Oh, okay. And then Corey's gonna bring this cop that used to date Allison into the sewer and kinda kill him with Michael. Oh boy, 
here we go. Michael Myers As is you've back, seen maybe. Yeah. And also Corey. Mostly Corey. I don't I don't <laughs> know who that is. Then they're gonna kill another couple of people together, and Corey's gonna be kind of consumed by Have the darkness seen and already? wanna go on a killing spree. Uh-oh. But first he wants Michael's iconic mask. Well, it's gonna be impossible to get Michael Myers' mask off of him. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, he just heads to the sewer and beats the crap out of him and takes it from him. This kid that was beaten up by some marching band kids beats the crap out of Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah, just whoops his little psychopath button, steals his mask, and runs away. All right. So then he goes on a killing spree, but when he gets to Lori, she shoots him. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he's not actually dead yet, and he tells her, if I can't have your daughter, no one can. And then he cuts his own neck. But if he's dead, doesn't that mean anyone except him can have her now? Oh, uh, yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie. Anyway, now it's time for the final act of the movie. So the guy we've spent the entire movie following doesn't make it into the final act. Correct, because now it's time for the big showdown this has all been leading up to, uh, you know, mostly in the background, I guess. Which is? <laughs> this old, weak sewer guy who was just beat up by a guy who was bullied by band geeks versus... <laughs> A grandmother. Right. And so then they fight, and the grandmother wins. Oh, violent grandmas are tight. Yeah, they are. And so then the whole town comes together and parades through the streets with Michael's dead body. How did everybody find out? Did Lori send out a group text? Probably a group text situation, yeah. So then they throw his body into this grinder thing, which, you know, grinds it. Gross. And so that's it? He's dead, dead? He's dead, dead, sir. And then we see Lori writing a book about the whole experience, and she's like, there will be no grave, no memorial. The memory of him him will fade. The memory of him will fade. But you're writing wow. a book. Wait, she wrote that in a book? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, listen, as long as we got the iconic mask and knife and the marketing material, this is gonna make money. Yeah! Hi, everybody. For Ryan sure. George here. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed for it. Don't forget to click sure. the... Ah, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. That's why I totally forgot about that. That whole last thing where she was just talking about, you know, no one's going to remember uh, Michael Myers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you wrote it in a book. So the memory of him was going to live on forever unless they burn all the books that was published. So, eh, <laughs> you know, but yeah, dude, that Lois, the last thing that, he, that, that, that Ryan showed, the uh, Lois box office of a trilogy, trilogy um, I don't think that's also because you know, uh, at home, because you could have watched this on Peacock also. Uh, uh, it could have been that, but, or it could have been people heard about how shitty the movie is, and don't nobody want to see that. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to see that. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm floored with this, with this film. I'm glad that it's done, and if it's remade, remake it to make sense, I guess. Because it didn't really make any sense. <laughs> All right. But of course, good job, Ryan, for pointing out this stupid stuff in this film. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. And if you like my reaction to this, hit the thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date with everything I do right here on your Patreon. See you guys in another dope video. Peace.